Good morning, children. I'm in Litchard Primary on a Monday morning, as usual, to do my normal checks. Uh, I'm outside Mrs Carville's classroom at the moment, and behind me is a Year 5 display of art and writing. This week, the teachers have set some work on art. It's going to be an art week this week. Lots of ideas, lots of exciting things to do. And as in Litchard, we do lots of art, and there's a little example behind me from Year 5 of a famous Welsh artist, Kevin Williams. Well, I'm in the junior hall now, in the main hall, thinking about painting and doing any sort of artwork because artwork isn't just painting, it can be drawing, you can just use your felt tips at home, you can use your colouring pencils, you can design things out of nature, sticks, leaves, and make art drawings and take pictures of them with your camera. So there's lots of things you can do with art, and I'm sure your teachers will be giving you lots and lots of ideas to do artwork this week. But for our infant children, I wonder if you could tell me what these colours make. If you mix red and white, what do you get? If you mix red and yellow, what do you get? If you mix blue and yellow, what do you get? If you mix red and blue, what do you get? If you've got some paints, try it out. Otherwise, just have a guess and try and work it out or put some colouring pencils together and see if you can mix them up one on top of the other. OK. Art has been happening for years and years and years. I've got some to show you. Even in the caves. When people were living in caves in the south of France, there's some famous pictures like these where... People made pictures of what was going on on the walls of a cave. There's one there. If you go a bit further on in history, you've got the Egyptians. The Egyptians, famous uh, for lots of things, but they were also famous for their artwork. And in their tombs, they often left artwork for us to see. And these were discovered about 100 years ago. Pictures that the Egyptians put together and drew using all sorts of materials. In churches, you've got pictures on roofs. This is a famous roof here of a, a ceiling in a church, in a cathedral, where artists painted the roofs to make the churches pretty and inviting but also to tell a religious story. Now, some of you may be able to... It's a very famous picture of the Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. And that picture you can see in Paris, in the Louvre. And that uh, is probably one of the famous, most famous pictures and portraits in the world. We've got pictures from Wales as well. I showed you some this, uh, just now, outside Mrs Cavill's room, of Kevin Williams, which children have tried to copy here and done a really good job. But we've got other ones. Now, this is a picture now of a Welsh community. If you can have a look closely, you can see houses, chapels, and a scene in the Welsh valleys. So... That's a really nice picture, I think. And, you know, I'm going to show you some pictures that I like uh, that I've got in my office, and children who come into my office may see them hanging up. Now, this is a, a picture by a local, local artist. He's very famous, actually, William Brown. Um, and he lived in Maesteg. And there's a picture there of Maesteg Town Hall and terraced houses. Now that's one of my favourite pictures, and it hangs up in my office. Now this is another one of the Mary Lloyd. This is hanging up in my office too. And here, you've got a picture here. of It's a print. So it's a print made, like we do potato prints, but it's a complicated print uh, that is made by an artist. And this was number print number seven which it says there, number seven out of 23 prints that were made of the Mary Lloyd, which is a horse, 
It's his head. You can see it carefully there. So before I finish uh, this morning's assembly, I just want to wish a happy birthday to some children uh, who had their birthdays last week. So we'll start off with Ellie May in year six, Honey year six, Jasmine year two, Angharad reception, Maisie year five, Rudian year four, Morgan year three, Robin year three, Badsley year three, Amelie reception, Jake in year five, Brandon in year two, Matthew Year 5, Beatrix in Nursery, Amelia in Nursery, and Faith in Year 5. So I'll just play a happy birthday to them. So this week... Do what you can with the art activities that your teachers have set. I hope you enjoy them, and I hope you enjoy uh, doing them yourselves and just having a bit of fun, because that's what art is. It's to have fun and enjoyment as well, hopefully producing something you're proud of at the end. So I'll see you again next Monday for our next assembly. Okay, bye children. <laughs>